well, we had two and a half years to prepare for Bo's death, and I think the, so we felt like we had done a pretty good job, but it wasn't until probably eight or so years later that our youngest especially started having problems um, because as people have always, people always take care of the parents, but they forget about the children. They think children are resilient and they'll bounce back, and that really isn't the case. And it was, it was down the line, I think, that we realized we hadn't addressed everybody's needs. My husband and I did go to counselors uh, along with the children as well as, uh, as a couple as well as individually, which was very, very helpful because I think once you're, when you're in the middle of a situation like that, it's hard to really understand. It's hard to get a real good perception, a, a real perception of what's really going on. So I think having somebody else listen to us and sort of explain things back to us holding a mirror up to our faces, I guess. Um, it was very helpful. During Bo's last six months, he was pretty much uh, bedridden and was in quite a bit of pain. I think it's very important for you as a parent to communicate to the doctors about the pain because the child or the patient, old or young, I think when they are taken to the doctor, they somehow rally and don't really explain the difficulties at home and then you get back home and they're in such pain. So I think it's real important to, for somebody, a patient advocate or you as a parent or whatever, to communicate to the doctors and not be afraid to say the pain is unmanageable, we need help. Um, I think a lot of parents don't realize that there's that help available and I think the doctors are a little bit hesitant to tell them about pain management, or at least they were then. And nobody needs to be in severe pain all the time. There's, there's help out there. As far as um, how you and your spouse get through it, we were warned early on that I think 80% of marriages break up, break up because of situations like this, and I can see how that would happen. And I think the important thing is, is for you to learn to be honest with each other. I think you don't want to tell the other person how much you're hurting, so therefore this keeping it uh, pent up manifests itself in other ways. And I think it's real important when one of the parents or one part of the relationship is down, the other one needs to be up. And it's kind of a balance for if one's down, the other needs to lift up. But I think it's real important to communicate and find out what, what really is going on. And my husband and I have pretty much learned how to say, I'm sorry, I was hurting, I was missing my son, or I was scared, or, or whatever, and I'm sorry I said what I said, because it's not about you, it's about me. My name is Lindy Nyhouse, and my son Bo died of liver cancer.